text in to say it's a big weekend for Southampton and Mark Hughes. It is. They play Bournemouth tomorrow. Um, look to go down. Obviously, we all know the financial ramifications of, of dropping to the championship. Yeah. Um, they deserve it. Really? Yeah. They finished eighth in the Premier League and, uh, with under Powell, yeah. who's gone to Leicester now, and they sacked him. Because <laughs> some of the players apparently uh, complained that he wasn't convivial enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It's true oh was. my God! And it's true. And actually, West Brom like Tony Pulis is the master after with Allardyce actually of keeping teams in the Premier League. Uh, and there was a guy at Charlton years ago when they were in the Premier League. Um, he said, "Let's read." Yeah, yeah, they sacked uh, their coach and they said, we're fed up finishing uh, mid-table in the Premier League. They're now in Division X. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it, I, I'd be delighted if Southampton goes down. And I, I say that whilst acknowledging they have a good um, youth system there, academy, they're producing terrific players. But boy, was that some stupid thing to do for a club like Southampton, which is a very small club in football history terms, to sack a guy because he only uh, finished eight and didn't like a bind to the lads. His boy. <laughs> wow. That's going to be an expensive mistake. And I'd, I'd be delighted. The latest state of player power at its absolute ridiculous best. Yeah. OK, listen, Eamon and Kevin. And he got them very so close to a cup final win as well. You shouldn't forget that last yeah. year. They, they very nearly beat United in the League Cup final. So, I mean, he did a decent job there. So it was a crazy decision. Yeah.